Warning tonight for 83 million account holders at J.P. Morgan Chase. Cyber attackers hack the bank, possibly putting customers at risk. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. This data breach, a black eye for America's biggest bank, which many assumed was more secure than recently hacked retailers. There was the target breach. That's more of like, oh, it's a retailer. Like, stuff can happen. You don't really know who's handling their back end. But Chase is like pretty much the biggest bank. So it's pretty shocking. Computer hackers foiled Chase security measures to steal 83 million customer names, addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses. What's the risk with that information in the hands of hackers? Now they know that they're banking at Chase. So what they can do now is, again, try and backtrack into their checkings and savings accounts. Consumer credit expert Paul Oster expects hackers will now go phishing, sending out fake but official-looking emails designed to con Chase customers into giving up account details. You need to be on the lookout for any email that looks like it's coming from Chase, and these guys are sophisticated. So you need to verify it. Don't click on the message. Don't respond to the email. Assume that it's phishing. The bank claims hackers did not steal any account numbers, passwords, social security numbers, or dates of birth. What should I do? When Oster called to check on his Chase accounts, a customer service rep downplayed any new risk from phishing. Still, customers worry about the massive breach. The concern is that they basically they can steal our identity. They should have done a better job, no matter what. Chase says monitor your account, report anything unusual, and it will reimburse any fraudulent activity. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. J.P. Morgan Chase does say that so far it has seen no unusual fraud activity related to this cyber attack.